Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about battery energy storage systems policies, especially within the Indian market. So India's energy landscape has transformed rapidly. It has managed to add a ton of renewable energy over the last decade or so. But the problem with renewables are that they are intermittent. Battery energy storage systems are essentially playing the backbone of the Indian energy landscape by acting as long-term storage devices which are helping to convert these intermittent renewables into reliable and sustainable green power for our consumption. Now here's why battery energy storage systems really matter. As India keeps adding more and more solar and wind to its grid, the intermittent nature of this generation will increasingly unbalance the grid. Now what batteries do essentially is to help store this energy and transfer it to those hours where the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. Now the Indian government over the past couple of years has taken a lot of steps to give a push to battery energy storage systems. Batteries are now recognized as a fundamental part of the energy ecosystem. Policies such as the National Framework for Promoting Energy Storage, the Tariff-Based Competitive Bidding and the inclusion in the infrastructure list have helped unlock both financial as well as market access for energy storage systems. Successively, the Central Electricity Regulatory Commission as well as the State Electricity Regulatory Commissions are coming up with a lot of policy and regulatory frameworks that can be implemented in their successive or selective regions. The government is also coming up with policies specifically tailored for CNI customers in the open access as well as the rooftop domains in order to make sure that the batteries are being increasingly adopted. More on these policies in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and follow us for more such videos.